I call this board meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us this evening. Please be advised in the event of a fire emergency, an alarm will sound. Please note all emergency exits and evacuate well away from the building. At this time, we request everyone please turn your cell phones to silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Additions, deletions, and changes to the agenda. Yes, under additions 10 14, resignation. Thank you. The consent agenda. Can I have a motion for one through seven, please? So moved. And a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Consent agenda carries. Communications correspondence, Mr. Malasani. Yes, uh, this Saturday at the Byron Virgin Central School District, January 20th at uh, 9 o'clock, we have the legislative breakfast. Um, with the new state aid runs coming out today, it's a lot lower than we originally anticipated, so November. So I know uh, Jamie Fitch and Arnie Rishoki are members of the legislative committee. Anybody else would like to join us, please do so. It starts at 9 o'clock. We'll probably wrap up around 1 o'clock there at Byron Virgin. Other than that, you see in your backup notes, we have the honor roll for December 2023 for the 9th and 12th graders. You see we were 1% better than we were just a year ago. Other than that, the uh, rest of the communications are in your backup notes. All right. Yeah, we do have a few uh, of those to announce. Anybody know what page number that was on? I'm Here we go. 11. Communications. Uh, the elementary hosted the first page Turner competition of the year. Our team continues to do very well. Scores from this competition will be added to the scores in the next competition this spring to determine overall ranking. Congratulations to senior Garrett Thompson, who won his 100th varsity wrestling match at the Dick Vincent Duels at Letchworth High School. He became the 11th Calum varsity wrestler in school history to achieve the 100 win milestone. Several, I'll, go ahead. Arnie. I'll do this. Yep. Uh, several organizations have partnered with us this month to bring our students real world experiences. In our participation in government class, we hosted guest speakers, Officer Burnside, Chris Richter, Seth Meyer from the fire department in Mumford, Dan Pangrazio, Caledonia Town Supervisor, Supervisor, and uh, Angela from the York Animal Hospital came in to speak to our sixth graders for CTE also. We hosted a middle school cooking class series with Miss Helen from the Angry Rooster. The classes were full and have a waiting list, so we'll offer another round shortly. Section 5 Athletics announced their fall 2023 student athlete scholarship recipients. Each season, Section 5 awards one $500 scholarship to an athlete in each varsity sport. We are beyond proud to share that senior Gianna McCowan was selected as the recipient of the $500 scholarship for fall game day cheerleading. Gianna has been a team captain for Coach Carson's game day cheer team for the last two seasons and is an outstanding Raider, both in the classroom and beyond. Congratulations to Gia and her entire family on this prestigious honor. In December, the elementary welcomed teachers and administrators from Alexander and Oakfield who came to look at our ELA and math curriculum resources. They spent the morning visiting our amazing teachers and watching the great work of our students. Junior Hazel Nickerson was named Livingston County News Athlete of the Week. Well deserved honor for our hard working Raider who is closing in on her 1,000th career point. Hazel is averaging 16 points 11 rebounds, helping her team to a 7-2 record so far this season. We hosted our alumni for a welcome home event. 15 of our graduates returned and spoke as a panel to our current seniors. They gave real advice and answered every question. Thank you to our grads for investing in the class of 2024. The senior class hosted our seniors for seniors event. The turnout was good. 
The event is a great way to thank our seniors for their ongoing support of our schools. December was filled with many different events. Students displayed their musical talents during our holiday concerts. Classrooms hosted events like Elf Day, Grinch Day, Trim a Tree, and many more. We also thank the National Junior Honor Society and the National Honor Society for hosting a skating party for the K-5 students in the elementary gym. In addition, the high school hosted a, the first in a series of Adulting 101 classes where the seniors learned about LinkedIn. Thank you. And as always, everybody that is in tune to social media, you can keep track of all the goings on there as well. Uh, we have no guests of the board. Did anybody have the board? Thank you. Uh, superintendent's report, nothing to report. Old business, number one, adoption of budget guidelines for the proposed 2024-2025 annual school budget. Resolved that the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the budget guidelines for the proposed 2024-2025 annual school budget per board policy number 5110, budget planning and development. Motion, please. So moved. And a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Old business number two, revision to the pesticide emergency application date. Uh, resolved that the Board of Education upon the recommendation of superintendent revise the approved emergency pesticide herbicide date to April 27, 2024 with an alternate date of May 4th, 2024 per attachment. Motion please. I'll make it. And a second? Yep. Any discussion? Now we have both dates on a Saturday. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. On to new business, number one. Termination of a contract awarded bid. Result that the Board of Education hereby terminates the contract with Amarine and Johnstown Incorporated due to a change in project plans and hereby authorizes payment to Amarine and Johnstown Incorporated in the amount of $3,961.75 for the work performed through the date of contract termination. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second. Yep. Any discussion or questions? Again, the difference here is originally when we uh, put together the HVA system for the renovations of the elementary um, office area, they were going to reuse the PTAG units. They've now changed their mind. They're going to do a rooftop unit, so no sense in investing money uh, in those units. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. New business number two, uh, Mr. Nardone, presentation of the extra classroom audit report. All right. Usually an audit report is pretty long, so I would have put it on the screen, but this audit report is pretty simple. So every year we are required to have all our clubs uh, reviewed through an extra class audit report. So you'll see in the audit report every single club that we have that is controlled by the central treasurer. You'll see all the ins, all the outs in terms of receipts and disbursements throughout the year. And you'll also see any findings. So with this report, I always tell people, I was an auditor for this firm, if they don't find findings, they feel like they did not justify their job. So they had to look hard to find one finding in the entire report. They probably looked at a sample of over 40 disbursements and receipts, profit and loss statements, uh, looking for the appropriate signatures. And out of all that, they found one thing. That one comment is in a fundraiser, there was some money that just didn't go back to the club um, and the uh, inventory didn't come back. That is not that big of an issue because with any fundraising, it hurts the individual kid rather than the overall club. So those kids' balances will be deducted for their loss and what they didn't return in inventory. So there's nothing, no uh, cause for alarm with anything like that. Uh, that is the only finding. The only other thing they noted, and they have to know, is inactive clubs. Anytime that there is no receipts or disbursements throughout the entire year, they have to make notice because what they want the board to know is, hey, this club is not active. Maybe you should look into it to see if the fund should go back to student council or to maybe another club. 
There was one club inactive, the Science Club. Their balance is just over $300. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm over $312. Yes. Yep. So um, it's something that we'll look into. Uh, Sherry, our central treasurer, is doing a phenomenal job. Um, she'll look into it. And if it's um, inactive for a second year, that's when I'll get involved. I usually let them go one year um, because of, you know, it could have been a decision by the school. It could have been a decision by the advisor if there was one. Uh, the only other thing they noted is prior year recommendations. So anytime we had a comment in the prior year and we corrected that comment, they'll make notice of that. So we had three instances of where there was comments in last year's management letter that were, were corrected. So kudos to Sherry. Um, and again, I think that was her first full year doing it, if I'm not mistaken. So this report is unbelievable. She should be extremely proud. Dr. Chanel should be proud. Everything is working extremely well. Does anybody have any questions for the audit report? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So number three, board resolution to accept the extra classroom annual audit report. So <laughs> the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the audit committee accept the extra classroom activity fund annual audit report for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2023. Motion please. I'll make it. And a second. <laughs> yep. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. The motion carried. And extra classroom activity funds corrective action plan. Resolved that the Board of Education, excuse me, resolved that the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the superintendent accept the extra classroom activity funds corrective action plan for the year ending June 30th, 2023. Motion please. I'll make it. And a second. Second. Yep. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Number five, acceptance of the single audit report. Resolved that the Board of Education upon the recommendation of the audit committee accept the single audit report for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2023. Motion please. I'll make it. And a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Number six, approval of the bond resolution. Resolved that the Board of Education upon the recommendation approve the bond resolution as listed in the agenda sections one through 12. This needs to be a roll call vote. Can I have a motion please? So moved. And a second? Second. Any discussion? Mr. Richlicky, how do you vote? I vote. Aye. Aye. Mrs. Dietrich? Aye. Mr. Belenek? Aye. Mr. Bickford? Aye. And I vote aye as well. That carried. Executive session resolved that the Board of Education adjourned to executive session at 6 15 p.m. to discuss the employment and employee histories of particular persons and confidential student records protected by FERPA. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 That motion carries. We'll be back. Uh, Board of Education returns from executive session. Uh, resolve that the Board of Education return to regular session at 8.42 p.m. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second? Yep. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And number 10, personnel. Number, uh, I'll take a motion for one through 14 as laid out in the agenda with number one, resignation of teacher for purpose of retirement. Resignation of maintenance mechanic for purpose of retirement. Resignation of maintenance mechanic. Number four, appointment of substitutes. Number five, approval of social media specialist. Number six, approval of extra trip coordinator stipend. Number seven, resignation of teacher for purpose of retirement. Number eight, resignation of teacher aid for purpose of retirement. Number four, approval of school to work students. Number 10, approval of sub bus monitor. Number 11, approval of bus driver training. Number 12, approval of a new roster position of building maintenance person. Number 13, appointment of food service helper. 
And number 14, resignation of superintendent for the purpose of retirement. A motion one through 14, please. So moved. And a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. And one final piece of business resolved that the decision of the superintendent concerning the student discipline decision, the subject of the appeal filed with the Board of Education on December 23rd, 2023, is hereby upheld. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second? Yep. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. And adjournment, resolved that the Board of Education adjourn the meeting of January 16, 2024 at 8.44 p.m. Motion, please. Sure. Right. And a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Have a good evening.